YouTube. Um, so this is just going to be a beauty haul. It's a massive beauty haul that I've collected for about two or so months. Um, and I'm sorry that I haven't been filming lately. I've just been really busy. Um, I've been to Manchester and I've been working and I've just not had time for filming. Um, so I thought I'd make up to you guys for doing a massive beauty haul. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm just going to get started with that. But before I get started, I am going to explain I am in a different room. Um, I'm trying to use the natural lighting from behind me. So I'm actually in my living room. Um, so I hope to do more videos sitting in this position as it does pick up the colours um, more true and it's just better for you guys to see. So I'm just going to get started right into it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is some eyelashes. And I picked up my usual 120s. And they're just these nice, long, fluttery ones um, that I wear for going out. And I also picked out this one, which is the Katy Perry ones. And these are the Cool Kitty ones. And they're nice, full um, lashes that are just a little bit shorter than the 120s. Um, so I really like them. Um, next thing I picked up was um, this blusher from Maybelline and I just wanted to try out a drugstore blusher that I hadn't heard many people talk about. So this is the Expert Wear Blush in Rose. I've not tried this out yet and it does come in a little cute blush, blush brush um, just like that. Um, I picked up some stuff when I was in Manchester. Um, I picked out three things. I got two lipsticks, and this is the first one, which is the Dior Addict Extreme one. And it's just this nice, dark, pinky colour um, in silhouette, which I really like. Um, I got another lipstick from Lancome the Rouge and Love collection. I really like the packaging how it has like a wee bit of stitching at the back. It's really nice. Um, and it's just this nice corally pink colour. And it's in colour 322M Coral in Love. And, and the last thing I picked up from Manchester was a NARS blush in Torrid, oh. um, which is just this nice shimmery pink colour. I really like this one. And I'm really liking NARS blushes, as I did say before, it's really true to colour. So I highly, highly recommend NARS blushes. <clears throat> um, I picked up two lipsticks, which is the L'Oreal Keres lipsticks, and this one is in 03, which is Lovely Rose, and it's just this nice pink colour. And I picked up another one, which is in Fashion Star Pink, which is a, re a lighter pink, it's more like a baby pink colour. I really like, they're really nice colours these ones. Um, there was quite a few that I saw that were really nice as well but I only picked out two. Um, I got another cream puff um, and this is in Fairy Cake. I really like these. That was featured in my last video. Um, I think Cotton Candy was or something like that. Um, I picked up some eyeshadows from My Face Cosmetics and I picked out these two and they're the bling tone ones and um, I got one in Diamonds and Pearls which is a nice um, white pearly colour lots of shimmer 
and um, the this one in purple haze, which is a really shimmery deep purple colour. Um, I picked out some stuff from Debenhams um, as they were doing a 10% sale. Um, so I picked out this SD Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum, which was actually um, originally for my boyfriend's mum, but she already has her friends bought her one from Canada, so I was allowed to keep this one, and it's the 30, 30th anniversary um, bottle, which has it printed just at the top, and this is the biggest um, size, which is the 50ml ones, um, and I really like this. I put it on at night um, before my moisturiser. And the next day that I wake up, it's just really nice and soft. So I really like this one. But it is really, really, really expensive. It's like £58 or something. Like almost £60 for just this bottle. But I, I really like it. Um, next from the Brums, I also picked out was a MAC Fix Plus. Um... And I have tried this out a few times, um, and I do really like it, but I want to try it just a little bit longer just to know how I feel with it later. Um, I bought some MAC blush, uh, sorry, MAC eyeshadows. I got this one in contrast, which is this nice deep um, blue colour, which has a purple undertone really like it. I actually bought this one for my cousin's Christmas before um, and I really like the colour so I just picked one for myself um, when it was on sale. I picked up another eyeshadow which I've already depotted and it's this one in Beauty Mart and it's just this nice maroon purpley colour. Just like that. Um, so it's a really nice dark colour. Um, I picked up, oh, I gave some stuff back to MAC um, and I got a free lipstick and I picked this one, which is the Cream Machine one in Speed Dial and it's just this lovely hot pink colour. I absolutely love this colour. It was a really nice swatch. So I really like it. Um, and the last thing that I got was from e.l.f. Um, I actually placed an order there about a month and a half ago or something like that. Um, because they were having um, a mystery bag sort of type thing. Um, whereas if you place an order over... I can't remember how much, um, £10 or something like that, you get a free mystery bag of what they pick out. Um, so I bought some stuff. Um, I picked up two of these mineral moisturising lip tints with an SPF 8. Um, this one's in guava. I've not tried these out yet. Um, because I'm quite disappointed in them. This one's in guava and as you can see from the colour difference, um, I picked out guava because I thought it was just going to be this nice peachy colour but it's not. I'm not sure if it's going to be like that on the lip or whatever. Um, I'm quite scared to try that. This other one is in rose and it's just this deep red colour and I picked out oh, I picked out a blush from e.l.f. which is just this one and it's a really shimmery pink colour it's actually got a lot of glitter in it um, which actually put me off it but I did try it and I tried it with a stippling brush so I didn't pick as much glitter 
um, I was hoping to not pick as much glitter, um, but there is still a lot of glitter in it. Um, but when I applied it to my cheeks, I really liked it. But um, even when I do swatches of it like this, it comes out really chalky. Um, so the best way to apply it is with a stippling brush, I think. Um, but it is a really nice colour. Um, so I got a single eyeshadow from e.l.f. as well. And it's just in this um, colour called Oatmeal. And I really think the packaging of e.l.f. products reminds me of the NARS ones just so much. Um, they, they're exactly the same as NARS, but they have like a little clear part here. Um, but anyway, um, this eyeshadow is in oatmeal, and it's just this nice um, neutral colour, a nice golden colour. Um, it just looks like this, and it's just really chalky. Um, there's a lot of fallouts, um, so I'm not a big fan of it. Um, when I did try it on, I just had a lot of fallout on my face, and it just I didn't really like it at all. So I don't recommend um, this at all. And then in the e.l.f. mystery bag, um, again I got another. Oh, I got another um, moisturizing lip tint in the color pink. But I really like this color. Um, it's just this nice pinky color, which I really like. Um. And then I got this eyeshadow quad, just like this, and it has the neutrals, the greens and the blues. So it's a nice, fun um, quad that I've not tried just yet. Um, and then I got a, um, a lip brush, which I've put away, um, and I forgot to bring that to show you but it's just this small lip brush that says elf on it so that's the end of my video um i know it has been quite a long um video this time um oh i have another thing to show you which is not beauty related um it's actually a pair of shoes so they just look like this and it's just this nice baby pink, um, baby pink colour ballerina shoe type high heel, which I absolutely love. They have this cute little bow here with little diamond tees at the side. And um, they were from Primark. Um, they were £14 and I just had to get them because they were so cute. They have this little hidden platform thing in here. Um, but they're not as comfy. Um, but I think it would be okay once I've put some party feet or something um, in them. Um, so they just look like this. So that's the end of my video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.